Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball. I'm out here in my garden today and I'm going to show you something called a Y holder that I developed. Here's a little closer view of it. It's a piece of half inch metal conduit and a piece of heavy wire, a length of heavy wire I should say that goes down through the conduit and back out. Little loop holds it here. The bends in the wire hold it from sliding down. This little fitting in conjunction with a hose clamp like you see right here is used on a T-post like you see right here. It, it goes up on the top of the T-post. It's secured with the hose clamp and once that's in place on two T-posts you have and you put a uh, in this instance a piece of one inch conduit in the Y holder on each end then you have a trellis span, a T-post trellis span. And in that span you can put a piece of uh, hard uh, concrete reinforcement wire or other, or you could put netting or any other trellis. You can put strings. Uh, but this frame, T-post, Y holders with a top bar, provides you with a frame for a trellis, a freestanding frame that once it's there, it's there. It's there for years. It'll last for years. It's a simple way of building a very durable um, and useful, productive trellis in your garden. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about these uh, trellis structures. Okay, here we are looking at my tomato trellis span. You can see it's quite high, it's nearly eight foot high. And uh, this is a late afternoon in August. Rest of the garden's looking pretty shaggy. These tomatoes are too, but they're looking good. You'll notice that they are not laying all over the ground, they're growing up. And they're growing up pretty easily, as I'll explain here shortly. But first, let me show you what these tomatoes look like. I'm going to come around the other side I think they, you can see them better here. These are one of my favorite kinds of tomatoes. These are Juliet's. They grow in clusters, those gorgeous clusters. And these clusters are, as you can see, all over the place here. Okay, oops, I think I lost one there. Yeah, not quite as ripe as some, but gives you an idea. They're all pretty much the same size. And they uh, start ripening from the bottom and they'll work their way up as they grow up. Some more of them, gorgeous. And down further I have a different kind of tomato. I have uh, another favorite, which is the Tommy Toe. You can see it in here, little ping pong ball tomatoes. It's beautiful. Indeterminates, they'll keep growing up through this uh, concrete reinforcement wire and they'll keep yielding tomatoes right up until frost. Now what's so great about these tomato trellis spans is that uh, there's not a lot of tomato pruning and there's not a lot of work at making them grow up and hang on to this structure. Uh, basically all you do is you just tuck and weave as these plants grow. You tuck them and weave them through the six inch grid. You can see this this one like this plant here is going through, comes back through here, goes back through there. I mean you just tuck and weave. That is it. Tuck and weave and if you have a stem like I do right here, see this one? Kind of growing out instead of up. Um, you have a couple of options when you have one that grows out like that. You can find a place to tuck and weave it or you can just cut it out. So I'll go through here once a week or every other week and when I see ones like this I cut them out and when I look up a little higher I see like, like this one right here which I can bring back through here like that. I've just 
tucked and weaved. And you can come right down through and do that. Tuck and weave. That's all there is to it. Now from up here I'm going to give you a little better view of how this structure is made, the T-post trellis span. It begins with uh, the T-post. Right here you can see it. Comes up and it ends right here. And I could make that the top of my trellis span uh, for some crops, but not for these tomatoes because they're gonna they they want to grow. They'll keep going right up to the top before frost comes. And so I put these extensions on. And the extension you can see the screw here. Let me see if I can get a little closer here. See the screw? That screw keeps this one inch conduit from slipping down. So it's got some overlap on the T-post as you can see and I have a hose clamp down here. That's uh, that's the end of the conduit, one inch conduit. One inch conduit you get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, it's cheap. It's inexpensive. It's good value. You see it goes all the way up there and uh, it extends my, you can't get a T-post this tall, of course. So it extends it up. And then at the top, I have a top bar, which is also one inch conduit. And that top bar is held in place by this Y holder. You see the Y holder over here? It just sits in there. The Y holder drops down into the one inch conduit. Fits in there perfectly. Holds itself from falling down. And you can see that I have taken the... Uh, Concrete reinforcing wire with its six inch grids, by the way, perfect for talking and weaving. And I've cut it so that I have, uh, I can just, I could just fold these over the top. It's a very solid structure. Yes, it can, it'll move back and forth here. Uh, but it, it's not going anywhere. It'll be here for years. Now, unlike a tomato cage, it's not going to fall over. Like it, it's going to hold the all that growth. Going to hold it, and uh, the tomatoes and the leaves will get lots of sunshine. They'll get lots of uh, free flow of air and dry off, and you have less chance of blight. With those cages, you know they just you just get this dense mass of uh, tomatoes that. Uh, are hard to harvest sometimes and you have more chance of blight because they can't dry off but with this with this t-post trellis span you have lots of airflow on both sides lots of sunlight and you have lots of tomatoes beautiful tomatoes Juliet's. Now here's a T-post trellis span with lima beans. And you can see the crossbar extends out. It's in the Y holders up there. I have extensions. This is another tall one, nearly eight foot tall. And it's lima beans will come up. There are no ripe lima beans yet, but they'll they'll be coming soon. There's a little, see the little lima beans on there. here and look at this the string trellis I have there different option with a t-post trellis span I talk about that in my book the planet was bang I did a book for gardeners all of this is in the book by the way <music> Thank you.